this or anything. What the hell were you thinking, Sam? You're lucky you just lost your license. And you know you're paying for everything, right? No. You're lucky they felt sorry for you. What are you still doing here? You're supposed to be at school. No, I already took my finals from my first three periods. French toast on the menu for you this morning. Um, could you please make sure that you sign those three checks? They're for gas, electric, and your credit card. Yes, mister, on the ball. Where's your bandage? I thought Audrey killed her son's babysitter on that speedboat. Mm -mm. She escaped on a life raft. Spent six months on a desert island, and now she's back for revenge. Cool. Gotta go. Hey, have a good day. All right, time's up. Pass your tests and journals to the right. Since it is our last day, I figured it'd be appropriate to popcorn read our five-year plan assignment. What will you be doing in five years? Who do you want to be? Uh, maybe somebody we haven't heard from? How about uh, Sam? What? Read your five-year plan assignment. Uh, it's all right. You could really use the participation points. Yes. 
My mom always told me that there are two types of people in the world. The kind who leave and the kind who stay. That's all I have, actually. You didn't finish? Who really knows, am I right? <laughs> Take your seat. Well, who else would like to have an opportunity? Hold still, Road Rat. Just take it. Well, can you act like you're not about to be executed for a second? Just for a second. Come on. That's the winner right there. The old mantelpiece, you know? Oh, Bobby, that's great. Thank you. Where are your parents, by the way? Uh, I don't know. Probably at home. Convert my bedroom into a new office or something. <laughs> no, no. They're partner around here somewhere. Do you want me to get a picture with you, too? Who? Ellie. Ellie Vaughn. Well, that would require Sam to, you know, talk to her first. Rather than just breathing heavily in her direction. We talk all the time. It's not a big deal. Ah, oh, buddy. I will never forget the story about the gym short. Mom, can you open the door, please? Story time. I, I love story time. Do tell. Well, OK, it was seventh grade, and Ellie had been chosen by the teachers to write everybody's names in their gym oh, shorts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Sam came home that day still wearing the shorts, and he said, Mom, do you know who wrote my name in these shorts, the most beautiful girl in the world. Oh my God. That's <laughs> I know. I'm going to cry, dude. That's sweet. And, and he was just so taken by her that he didn't realize Aww. that she hadn't written Nimitz. She'd written Nim Nuts. And Wait, that... that's, that's the origin of Nim Nuts? <laughs> Everything makes sense now. They've been calling that for years. Yeah, it was so sweet. Yeah, just magical childhood memory. Why don't we tell it a little louder? But, dude, come on, man. Don't go. Sam in the mood on us. What does that mean, Sam in the mood? Oh, it's just a term I've coined for when Sam just gets his vibe all off-putting and depressing, you know? Come on now, be nice. I'm only half kidding, half not. Anyways, I'm gonna go find the parental units. Bobby. Always a pleasure. Well done. <laughs> hey, and Sam, you, me, tonight, our old friends, fun, laughter, and merriment, remember them? It's gonna be hanging, man, whether you like it or not. See you later, man. Bye, Bobby. Congratulations. Thanks. Just looking out for you. Bobby you know. looking out for me? Uh, yeah, of course he is. You guys have been friends forever. No, he's my neighbor. He's, like, geographically obligated. <sighs> Sam... Would you please do me a favor and have a good time tonight? <laughs> because you know what tomorrow is, right? Job hunting, yes. Every cent, I mean it. Yes, I will start looking tomorrow, okay? Okay. Alta Loma High is at Disneyland right now. In Alta Loma High, you can suck it. <laughs> hey, the party's over here, buddy. You know that? Uh, okay. Come on, close it. Come on. Cut up. What's your deal? Bobby, we have to think of a way to make our grad night way better than Alta Loma High. I mean, there's a few things that come to my mind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so just please clarify. This. Well. <laughs> I was gonna look really good in my grad night dress. And you missed it. Why don't you put it on?
swing set? Uh, it's a public swing set. I'm Sam. I know who you are. No, I know. It's just there are a lot of kids. You know, a lot of people. Sam Nimitz. Yeah. You wore your gym shorts with your name wrong in them for two years because of me. Kids from that class still call me Sam Nuts or Nim Nuts. <laughs> assholes. Sorry. I actually have this thing. It's kind of like a grad night hit list. And well, I came over here to kill you, but you apologize. So we're cool now. <laughs> Thank you for sparing me. Are you OK? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm a little drunk. You want some? No. Thank you. It's I don't really drink. How come? Um, it's a little, per <laughs> it's a little personal. Okay, well, just for the record, um, I saw you reading my journal. So I, I think you owe me something a little personal at this point, just just to make things even. I was not. I was not. Come on. <sighs> okay. Um. I think I might be at some type of genetic disposition because my dad drank a lot. That's, I don't know, maybe that's a weird reason. No, it's not, it's not weird. It's an extreme all or nothing attitude, but it's not really weird. I don't know, I just don't want to end up like that too, I guess. I don't know, kind of a fear of mine. Do you have anything like that? I try to live my life without any expectations. Because who really gets the life they planned on, right? <laughs> and spoiler alert, we all end up like our parents anyway. Is that not an expectation in itself? No, because it's fact. Trust me. Transformation is inevitable. S Nimitz, I, I, your dad, I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize. I, I'm sorry. It's okay. No, it's not okay. It's a horrible thing to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you think I'm a huge bitch now? No, honestly, it's... You just got to put back on my hit list, so that kind of sucks for you, but... <laughs> well, I, I think it's cool that you don't drink. I kind of want more people like you in my life, you know, to just, like, keep me out of trouble. Yeah? So what are you doing this summer? Uh, pretty open. You? I leave in August for Rochester, in New York, but that's about it. That's, that's awesome. For what? The, their music conservatory. That's what you want to do? Yeah. Something with music. It also runs in the family. And I'm supposed to get a summer job, so there's that. <clears throat> really? Because I, I might have something. Dance with me. Come on. I'm sorry, did you just forget we had a fight or? I'm sorry, that was like forever ago. Come dance with me. Come on. All right. Oh, but I want to dance. Okay. Come on. Okay. I'll see you this summer, Nimitz.
Guys will be here soon with the jumper thingies. Did you purposefully leave the lights on all night? No, Amy and I came out here and... Well, let's just say I'm a lights on kind of okay. guy, you know? Okay. Uh... No. <laughs> so what'd you do? You just jack off in the jungle gym all night? No. Actually, I hung out with somebody. Oh, yeah? Who? Ellie Vaughn. No way. Are you serious? Yeah, it's really random, actually. No, you're lying to me. Who'd you hang out with? I'm not lying. Oh, my God. Dude, that girl lays major pipes. So how was that? Okay, wrong question, dumb question. Please tell me you made a move. No, pipe? What? No, we talked. That's it. What? You gotta make that shit happen, man. Mm, I, I don't know. She kind of hinted at hanging out, but... Uh, okay, dog. Anytime a girl alludes to hanging out with you, that, that's your cue to make it happen. Don't let this slip through your fingers, man. Not this. Not Ellie Vaughn. Really? Dog. Mm. I'm here for you. Ellie Vaughn, man. That's exciting. <laughs> Jesus and all his blessings. Hi. May 2002, freshman year. Ellie, have a great summer. Maybe I'll see you around. 909-921-5805. Take care. Sam. <laughs> Look at you, just smoothly trying to give me your phone number four years ago. You never called. Who reads these things? I do. Figured you'd say that. You're looking for a summer job, yeah? The search starts today. All right, well, I work at Video Flix. It's that really shitty video store off of Archibald and Baseline, and we're looking for someone, like, if you're interested. Yes. Yeah, I... Yeah. Should I, like, I don't know, fill out an application? Can you be here in 30 minutes? It's tradition. Every time someone quits, they get to destroy the wall. <clears throat> hey, bro. Hi. You're Sam? Yes. JD, Hi. general manager. Come hang out in my office. <laughs> What's your story? I don't normally hire someone unless they can give me a six month commitment, and Ellie here tells me you're leaving in August. Right, yeah, I'm going to school. Um, I had to, I had to pay off some bills before I go. Bills? What? You're like 12, what bills do you have? 
Um, it's, I, it's, I crashed my dad's truck and I have to pay off the damages. It's, I mean, it's not a big deal. Yeah. I've been there, dude. All right, uh, yeah, I can, uh, I can hook you up with a part-time until you leave. Thank you. You have a form of transportation? No, I just got my license suspended because... I can give him rides. Really? Yeah, I'm here every day anyway. Thank you. <laughs> All righty then. Well, welcome to the team. Thank you. Ellie will show you around. Yep. Uh, no big. Mm. Do you? It's the only one we have. Okay. Just wash it on hot a few times. Here. Follow me. Each day you're gonna need to straighten the wall, which requires you to walk up and down the DVD aisles and make sure everything's straight enough for presentation. They're Nazis about it. Trust me, you're gonna have nightmares about to shovel DVD shelves. <laughs> start and uh, I'll be here. First day, Sam. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you, JD. Have a good night. Do you know of any places open late, like for food? Yes, off of Haven and Baseline. Cool. Okay, I'll follow you over there. Wait, how did you get here? Friend took me. Is, is that your scooter over there? Is that, is that yours? That? No, no. No? <laughs> no. It's good that your expectations are like down here. Yeah. Because I'm not, it's about to blow well, your mind. mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You ready? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ready? All right. Um. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Wow. I need more. Like twelve more. <laughs> They're the best. Yeah. They're the best donuts. So. Um, why video flicks? It pays. I don't know. I've had a lot of jobs. I wouldn't think that. Why? Because I hang out with a bunch of entitled brats whose parents pay for everything? <laughs> well, when you put it like that... <laughs> it's a social circle we share. That's it. I'm so, I didn't mean to mute. No, no worries. It's fine. I've been working since I was 16. What about college? Aren't you leaving soon? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm figuring it out. I'm just weighing my options. Which is code for no clue, so there's that. <laughs> um, is Zach one of those options? Wait, what? You, I mean, it's, I mean, it has to be more complicated making a decision when you have Zach to consider too, right? Is that your sly way of asking me if, like, I have a boyfriend? <laughs> no. Zach and I are on a break. Okay. What does that mean? So we're not talking. But you're together. Yeah, sometimes things aren't one way or the other. Okay. Fair. Anyway, I, uh, 
I like this. What? This. I'm starting to realize that all of my friends the past four years have just been party friends. What does that mean? What do you mean? Party friends, like friends you get trashed with or friends you talk about nothing with. It's not real. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not used to hanging out with anyone at all. <laughs> Come on, let's uh, let's get you home. Studio? Um, it's, yeah, it used to be a garage. My dad converted it. He was a musician too. I, I he was in a bunch of bands when he was younger, but he made a living off of uh, commercial. He, he wrote songs for commercials. <laughs> These were his guitars. Mm -hmm. They're mine now. A uh, poetic demise? Do I have to tell you about that? Yeah. Uh, that's, it's this little stupid band that Bobby and I had a long time ago. Um, he lives next door. He's my neighbor, so. It's a pretty expressive name. Yeah, those were not subtle years. What's with the recorder? Oh. Um, <laughs> Um, Bobby's parents felt he was spending too much time with the band. They signed up and not wanting him to end up homeless. Um, so they sent him, him to uh, a math camp for young entrepreneurs one summer. <laughs> uh, so my dad bought us that voice recorder and we recorded music tracks on it, sent it back and forth all summer. Cute. So you any good? Okay. Rochester's one of the best music schools, right? Yeah, something like that. Okay, so you think you're a little like better than good? <laughs> Play me something. Okay, you know, you play me something now, or I listen to a track from a poetic demise. That's pure evil. Come on. Okay, put the recorder down. Okay. This is a work in progress. No disclaimers. This is called Her Only Son. dreams of my hometown in flame you're watching me run from the border you've been having your way hiding from me for days a reminder all that you wanted how could you be be without me Could you be me? Be without me. Wish that I knew. Wish that I knew. 
wish I knew. And I miss the days before we were strange. Your suitcase half full with belongings. A life swept away by one single day. Still spinning in waves of his leaving. And I wish that I had the string to carry you. And I wish that I said. I'd never leave this town, but I'm learning every day that sometimes we can't stay. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. No. No, that's the last thing I want to hear. I can't get your face out of my head. <laughs> when you're playing. I just wish I was that passionate about anything. Maybe you are. I'm pregnant. Sorry. That was abrupt. <laughs> no. Oh, um, no, it's fu um, what, but you were drinking on Grandma. <laughs> night. I like you, Sam. But, uh, I'm not really an all or nothing person. I like you. <laughs> what do you mean? about it later. I thought you were staying at Bobby's. Oh. Hi, Ellie. Hey, Miss Nimitz. Hey. We're just going to work. So, uh, you got a job? Mm-hmm. Video flicks. Oh. Look at that. I didn't know they were still open. Is that... Now, that's cool. Good to see you. And you. Yes. Have a good day, kids. What's with the uh, men's PJs and the couch? They're my dad's. She wears them when I'm not around or when she thinks I'm not. And she hasn't slept in their bed since, well, 
That is the saddest thing I've ever heard. At least you guys still have each other. You know, after everything. You're right. Yeah. Actually, no, we don't really talk at all. I don't know why I lied just then. Sorry to do this to you, but this morning I'm gonna need you to call everybody on the 30-day list. Okay, what is that? It's a list. Everybody's checked out a movie for more than 30 days. Okay. Any tips? Don't let them kill your spirit. Is this Mr. Foster? Who the fuck's asking? Oh, um, this is Sam from Video Flicks. I'm calling about the copy of Mona Lisa Smile that you rented in January, uh, and you've yet to return. <laughs> Sounds like my snake ex-wife is still using my account. Um, actually, it says that you're the only one with access, so... Sorry, excuse me? Jesus, kid, are you even paying attention? What kind of DVD jockey are you? Mr. Foster, right? How'd you know? He's a regular. Don't take it personal. What the, what the hell is this? Oh, here we go. Do you realize that a cat washes down on a gigantic waterfall in this movie and survives? Yeah. A waterfall! It's a kid's movie. Oh, wow, this place is losing its way, man. First these stupid grape shirts, now the required factory films where animals are surviving totally impossible dangers, giving kids impractical expectations for their own lives. What can I say, Gus? Corporate wasn't too keen on you showing E tu Mama Tambien every afternoon. E tu Mama Tambien is a beautiful, perfect film, and corporate is stupid. Who are you? Who's this? This is Sam. He's a friend of Ellie's. And yes, he is of working age. He's gonna be with us until August. <laughs> nice to meet you. How you doing? You like shit like this? Oh, um, yeah, when I was a kid. Don't worry, I'll show you some real movies. Hey, Gus. Hey, how are you? How's it going? You look good today. Um, so you brought in the new kid? Yeah, be nice. Always. Should we initiate him tonight? I don't know. What? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Uh, every Friday night, Gus screens the movie on the roof. It's kind of a ritual. It's not bullshit like this, I promise. Important stuff. Cool. I want to go. Okay. Yeah, we'll think about it. There's no way that golden retriever would make it out of there alive. It's a golden retriever. 
You ever seen a movie that's just 60 minutes of a tree growing? That's the kind of crap we're gonna watch tonight. You talking about my first short film right now? You wanna go there? Who showed up? Uh, sorry I'm late. I, I missed the screening. We were just about to play hide and seek. Are you in? Oh, uh, I'm just gonna hang hang out. If it's, if it's cool. Suit yourself. Everybody, form up on me over on the drama section. We're gonna discuss the rules. All right, guys, follow me. Uh, we don't need to know the rules because it's hide and seek. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking about how there's a child inside of you. Firstly, what are you gonna do? What do you think? I have an appointment. Oh. I'm just imagining a life with Zach. A life like my mom's. I just can't. Why do you care so much anyway? Are you uh, trying to be my boyfriend or something? Just a friend, looking out for a friend. Just checking. What else is on your mind? Nothing. They're playing hide and seek for three hours and they're gonna get it out of you. I found all these photos of my mom with this guy some guy before my dad. Like a high school boyfriend? No. It was serious. They were engaged. There were all these letters. Did you read them? You did. <laughs> they were so different. Different how? My mom really loved this guy. She loved my dad, too. I, these letters... Every single one of them was about forever. My parents never talked like that. Have you asked her about that? No, I don't think she's ready to talk about anything, but especially this. Why don't you let her decide that? Why do you care so much? You trying to be my girlfriend or something? <laughs> no, no way. Thank you for caring. Of course.
good taste in movies. That surprise you? No. Just saying. Your mom's gonna be cool with me being over here this late. Yeah, we don't have what you'd call a normal parent-child relationship. Yeah, I can relate. <laughs> yeah. Confession. I knew that I wrote your name wrong in your gym shorts. I was just too shy to tell you. No, are you shy? I can't imagine. I was. I was. It was the first day. I was like, cute guy I was I... <laughs> me too yeah you were you had this big brown moppy like head of hair and you were you were cute <laughs> you're you're a little sadder a little more lost but you're cute still cute Ellen You don't know how badly I've wanted to know you ever since that day. I'm sorry it took so long. I forgive you. Again? Am I back off your hit list? I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you didn't want to read your five-year plan essay? Just because it was like a huge list of all these people you were going to kill? <laughs> I was hoping you forgot. Wait, let me see if I remember correctly. Uh, the type of people who leave <gasps> and the kind who stay. That was incomplete. Okay, don't judge me. Why don't we break out yours? Oh, well, you read mine. Why don't you recite it for me, you creep? <laughs> I don't think we can really trust anyone that says they'll know or believe. Will you take me to see Dean? Dean? The guy in the photos. Why? What is she gonna do when I leave in August? What is she gonna do without me? I mean, I think, I think she'll be all right. I'm going to be across the country. She's going to be all alone. We've built this weird little life together. Hmm. Uh, there's something more for me. There has to be something more for her, right? That's all I'm thinking about. Let's go. Are you sure? Yeah, let's go. Can I help you? Um, hi, you're Dean Hall? Yeah. The, uh, I'm Sam, this is Ellie. Pleasure, what can I do for you? We're, we're just, we're wanting to furnish our new place. Mm -hmm. New place? It's, it's not ours, it's for, uh, it's for my mom. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Is your mom here? No. No. She's not? No. It's a surprise. Oh. Are you guys brother and sister? Yeah. No. Kids, come on. I don't have time for this. Try living spaces. Do you know Janice Nimitz? Yeah, I did. I knew her as Janice Hansen back then. Yeah. Um... I'm her son. So, you want to explain the, um, the weird cover-up? Out there. <sighs> Can you tell me about that? say I didn't know about you guys until now well it's not like it was a secret or anything you know um, your mom and I met in high school and uh, dated for a couple years and then uh, eventually we got engaged and but then what if you met your dad you knew him? yeah he was my best friend when I was about your age we were in a band, and you know about the time he and your mom got together. She left you for your best friend. Well, I wasn't perfect. You know, I had my problems. I was, uh, I was really angry kid. He was a better choice. How can you be so cool about it? I would, I'd die. Twenty years is a very um, sobering amount of time. And why are you guys here? So your mom had, had boyfriends before your dad. I wouldn't call that uncommon. It's because she wants to see you. What? Yes. How do you think I got the photo? You know, she, I mean, she kept it. Everything. Look. I really don't know what to say about all this. Would you see her again? Uh, I mean, I don't know. She's having a birthday party next week at our house. She wouldn't want to see me. I think that she would. Are you sure it's okay? I was just like, I was like, she wants to see you, and then I was like, no. shit. No, 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 no. I wanted to say it myself. Yeah, you know, I was just thinking about what you said. It's like, you know, she's gonna be alone. This could be a good thing, right? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. What? You guys miss your dad, huh? Do you remember do you remember James Keller? Uh, James Keller, the kid with the prosthetic yeah. hand. Yes, I do. That's an unexpected reference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had a class together the year after his accident. Um, he used to complain that it would hurt where his hand used to be. It's this thing called phantom limb pain. He was supposed to take pills for it, but he told me that he wouldn't sometimes just because he liked the feeling of it being there even if it hurt. It's like a part of us is gone and our only connection to him now <laughs> is the pain. Trying to move on would mean erasing him. I don't know. It's messed up, maybe. It's not messed up. I understand. What about your dad?
this is the house I grew up in. And we had to give it up after my dad left because we couldn't afford the mortgage anymore. I told myself I'd come back when I was older and buy it with my new family. I have so many memories in this house. I feel like before my mom was dating a new guy every week and I had to explain to my brothers why I take care of them and my mom. My dad used to park his station wagon over that oil stain in the driveway. And I was I have a memory of uh, Christopher, Frank, and I. And it was a Sunday afternoon. My dad came home from the store and he was like, guys, like what fell into my basket at the store? And he like held out this bag and we were just running around, like circling and like just desperately wanting to know what was inside. What was inside? I can't remember. <laughs> Can you take me to my appointment on Saturday? I, I need someone to take me. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. Really? Yeah. Terrified, but... Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Thank you. I know you. No, you don't. I want to do it. I love you, you know? So you just get paid to stand here all day? Uh, yeah, it's for now. I, I'm getting trained on register next week. Oh, nice. Keys to the castle already, huh? Bobby, I don't... It's, it was really nice for you to give me a ride, but I don't want them to think we're just hanging out out here. What? Know? No, I'm thinking about buying some previously owned DVDs as advertised. I'm a customer. What happened to your girlfriend anyways? I thought she was giving you rides to this. Thing. She is. Um, I don't know. She, she took the afternoon off. How's that going? I guess it's getting pretty real. Oh, yeah? All right. Getting out of your shell. Getting in that pipe. No, what pipe? Stop saying that. It's not... It's like we like each other. You know, we actually like each other. It's a real thing. Whatever blows your hair back, man. As long as you're out of the garage. Hey. It's 12 o'clock. I will see you tomorrow. How's it going? Well, DVDs are safe, you know. Man's garden like a junkyard dog. We're at the beach. Uh, yeah, my friend had like a birthday thing. Alrighty. I'm gonna go change. I'll see you in there. I feel you, man. So real. <laughs> kind of funny, though. Sorry. What are you doing after work? Uh, just watching my brothers. Nothing exciting. So, uh... What are you guys doing this Friday? What's Friday? Pool party. My place. Okay. Sam, you in? I can't. It's my mom's birthday. Bummer. Come after, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Are you coming? To my mom's birthday? It's your family thing. I'll just, I'll see you after, okay?
All right, let's close it down, yeah? Yeah. Uh, can I drive you home? Yeah, sure. I don't want to make it awkward, but what's going on with you and Zach? Ah, uh, is that why you've been so quiet? We've been friends for a really long time. We dated for a little bit. It didn't work out. So we're just trying to move past it. You understand? Don't be sad. No. Okay. Uh, you missed the surprise, but... Yeah, I'm sorry. I sat in the car for about 30 minutes before I turned on the engine. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. No, I know. I know. I do. I do. I just, I can't believe you all drove Mom. it. Mom, I'm really here to see you. Janice. Hey, Peggy, Alan, nice to see you guys. It's been a while. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just, I don't, I'm, I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry. Give me, just give me a second. Hey, Mom. Can you open the door, please? I was just trying to... What have you done? What are you doing? I'm trying to help you. You're trying to help me do what? I saw all those letters and the photos between you and me. I saw how in love you guys were. Oh, my God, Sam. Sam, that was 20 years ago. 20! What, what, what are you thinking? What, what gives you any right to go through my life? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay? I do not need your help. I don't need to be saved by anybody, let alone my own kid. You are the child. I am the parent. Stop forgetting. Then act like one! You can't just quit your life because something bad happened. I already lost my dad. I don't need to lose my mom, too. You're not losing me. I already have. All day, every day. All you do is sleep on that couch. You never talk to me. You made me move into Dad's studio so that you wouldn't have to see me. 
They did not make you. Sure as hell made a good argument for it, and he never, never come to see me. He just threw me in there with all this other stuff you don't want to see. Now I'm alone right now all the time. I didn't know you felt like this. Of course I do. You're practically just waiting for me to, to leave for school next month. I just reminder of him. And now you want me to What? what? What do you want from me? Just talk to me, please. Sam. No, shut up. What? Shut up. You told me that you were just friends. We are just friends. You don't act like that with your ex-boyfriend when you're starting a relationship with somebody new. Back off, okay? I didn't know this was a relationship. Are you... No. No, are you kidding me? Not everything has to be one way or the other, right? It must be easy living like that. I think you might be right. We might just all end up like our parents. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, go ahead and have that baby. Get on with it. I let you into my life, Sam, and then... You're just gonna use it against me? Yeah. It doesn't feel good to have people you trust be reckless with you, does it? I'm sorry, okay? God, give me a break. Haven't you ever been unsure about anything? No. Not when it comes to you. God, stop looking at me like that! Just because you liked me all these years doesn't mean I have to be your fantasy. No, it's not about that. Then what? I thought we were in it together. Don't you think it's weird that we drive? I mean, like, we're... We're monkeys. Okay, so, like, imagine Lucy driving a car. Who is Lucy? The... the I, I can't. I think, I think <laughs> you've had enough of this. Hey there, Sam. My man's never up. No, Sam. Sam! What are you doing? Going home. Come here. What's going on? What's wrong? Trouble in paradise, Valley Vaughn. Now you join the army of other young men who have been burned by Miss Vaughn. You guys should start a scholarship. On the bright side, you get to back on the horse. Get off me! Hey, man, don't be killing the fucking vibe like that. Killing the vibe, Sam in the mood, and Sam in the mood, aren't I? Yeah. As a matter of fact, you were Sam in the mood. Yeah, no, I'm really sorry that my dad killing himself has been cramping your style so much. What? All right, dude, I'm too high for this. You're always high. Drunk, trying to sleep with some girl, don't you care about anything else? Please stop pretending we're friends.
Come here, dude. I don't know what's going on. You know, for the past year, I've been trying to get you out of this house. You just want to stay cuddled up on your little island in your garage, don't you? It's just me pretending to be your friend, right? What about our band? You just totally bailed. <laughs> I didn't think Poetic Demise was going to make any real waves. Can you, can you stop? It was hours ago. I know. Look, this shit was hard on all of us, OK? Everybody misses your dad. Me, you, your mom, everybody who knew the guy misses him. And I knew him since I was a little kid. He was the only person that believed in my music. The only person. My parents are sending me to math camp and shit. Like, who the fuck does that? So don't... Take the fucking chip off your shoulder, man. Number seven zero one zero 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 one. Yeah. Hey, can I call you back? All right. Yeah, you do. You want to come in? You're not going to run my hand through the bandsaw, are you? <laughs> Oh, sorry. It's all right. Just like that? Just like that. Are you not pissed at me? I was. I get it. You're a good kid. You just did something stupid. I just... I can't... handle the kind of people who leave and now with going to school and... when... I'm doing that, I am that, you know? People who leave, people who stay, man. I haven't heard that in a long time, but let me tell you something. It's easy to draw lines in the sand. But trust me, people don't exist on one side or the other. You don't have to listen to me, but I think you should. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. All this bullshit doesn't have to define you, OK? That's what you need to control. How do you control it? This is where I feel in control. Uh, I don't know. Isn't it all kind of tedious? <laughs> Sometimes it is. But you know, I get to beat the shit out of wood and metal all day. And over time, Make something beautiful. See? You don't have any dead bodies, right? <laughs> yeah, they're in the freezer. You want to give it a shot? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, easy. This is amazing. Woo! Woo! Yeah! 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 <laughs> All right. Wow. What do you
do you say? You want to build something? Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, what are you thinking? Kitchen table? Coffee table? Actually, I think I've got something. Eleanor Vaughn? Please put this on for us. And the doctor will be right in. Let's do four. Let's see what we can get out of this four. Yeah. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Okay, so we can uh, and we turn it into squares, right? Yeah. 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 Last day. Yeah. And when do you leave for Rochester? Three days. Can I give you a ride home? Can I drive us somewhere? What? I want to drive us somewhere. What about your license? I don't, I don't know. Can you try your brights? Tell me why you took me in the middle of nowhere. I did it. Come here. I tried to comb before. I just wanted to see it. The police said. The police said that they didn't find anything. Just a truck, a gun. You know. It's a stick shift. I didn't get in very many lessons, so and I was obviously not, not very good. I don't know, I got stuck in third, and I, I, I lost control, I don't know. It didn't feel right to leave this place without seeing it. I'm sorry, Sam. No, I'm sorry. I'm so I'm sorry about your dad. And I'm sorry about the party. And I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry. No, Pete. No, listen. Okay, 
We got close. We got closer than I've ever been with anyone in my whole life. And I let my relationship with Zach bleed into ours, and that's not fair. I didn't mean what I said about you ending up like your mom. I don't think that. I wish we could have met down the road. You know, we're like 27. And we have everything all like figured out. I think we needed each other now. I hate that you're leaving. Maybe we'll try again when we're 27. <laughs> I like that. You'll be some like world class composer, and I'll be like this. <laughs> That's TBD. But it will also be great and world class. <laughs> So nine years. I'm gonna be waiting. You just tell me you will too. Sad to see you go. All right, you know what this means, all right? The truth is, people are much more complicated than that. They don't exist on one side or the other. You have to let them in just as often as you let them leave. ours to share. This may not be a five-year plan, per se, but who really knows? We're all just doing the best we can, and that's good enough. It has to be. Hey. Hello. 
love what you've done with the place. Thank you. I know you've been spending time with Dean. He called me, he asked me if it was okay. Is it? Dean's a good guy. Did not deserve what your dad and I did to him. I have a question. Looking back, do you still think that you made the right choice? I loved your father. I mean, I loved your dad. I know you tried really hard to understand why he did what he did. It's so hard to accept that sometimes people are just sick and that's it, you know? Um. Nothing more to it than that. At least that's what I've spent the last year trying to convince myself of. And I know you think I'm a hopeless shut-in. You are not wrong, it's true. I know I haven't made a lot of attempts at normals and A couple of months before it happened, um, we got into a really bad fight. I was just so sick of him making me suffer with him, you know. And uh, he asked me if I regretted choosing him over Dean. And, uh, I just didn't answer. I just didn't say anything. I just let him sit in it, you know, I just let him wonder it. And a few months later, he did what he did. And I really need you to forgive me for that because I can't forgive myself now. from you. I wasted so much time. We've just been hiding from each other. <sighs> Can I show you something? Please. <laughs>
Okay. I've been having dreams of my hometown in flame You're watching me run in the border You've been having your way Hiding from me for days A reminder of all that you wanted How could you be Be without me I do.